Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys' day is going well. I want to do a product update review. Now, one of the biggest, most viewed videos on the channel, coincidentally, is about headphones. And I'm okay with that because people want to know what fitness headphones are applicable to their workout careers. And you know what? I tried one. Obviously, it's one of the most popular videos was on these ones, the Skull Candy Crushers. And I like them for a long time. A lot of people had a lot of really good questions. How do they work? What do you think? And I've tried them out for a long time and I since making that video, it's probably been a couple months and I, I absolutely hate them now. Not a big fan of them at all. And I'm gonna go over a few key features why I think they're bad, the new ones that I'm using and why I think maybe you guys should switch or if you're thinking about buying those headphones, maybe looking around for a couple different other stuff. So. Here they are right here, the Skull Candy Crushers. I got them in the black one, they come with the tan and silver. Originally, they were good headphones. The battery life is awesome. They're made of like a, an actual metal, so they're not plastic. Overall, they're really good headphones. They have this nifty switch right here, which goes up and down, it controls the bass. A lot of people ask, what does the bass sound like? A lot of headphones out there have the adjustable things. How does it go? If you turn this all the way up, the bass gets for lack of other terms, very, very distorted, especially if this song you're listening to already has a really deep bass kind of written into the song. It's gonna make it kind of awful. The noise cancellation's great. There's a lot of really good features about these. And let me tell you the a couple reasons why they're bad. They're absolutely garbage. And the main reason that I think Skull Candy could do better is these grips right here, these inner ear cuffs. They look leather, they're pleather. And on the inside, they're actually it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but they're actually kind of fabric on the inside. So the leather is not totally surrounding. So when these sit on your head, that sweat soaks into the inside part of these cuffs and it just gets in there. I wipe these down religiously, even before I work out, before and after, and it still gets in there. Cause it's coming off the side of your head, sweat's getting in there and it's impossible to get rid of. You can't take these off. So if these were maybe exchangeable or you could throw them in the washer or something like that. I know there's a few tricks where if these do come off, you could put them in the freezer. It kills all of that bacteria from the sweat. You could put them back on and they're good to go. These don't come off. I even kind of tried to explore to see if they could come off and I'm pretty sure I jacked up this left side. So they're gross and people always said how does sweat affect these because anyone who's head over the ear headphones knows how gross it can get. Normally that's not a big issue because you can wipe them down, but the fact that that's sort of like an actual fabric and not a leather, that sweat just soaks in there and these get absolutely gross. Other than that, they're, they're good headphones. The battery life is a little bit under what's quoted uh, and the bass is kind of crappy and these like little touch tone buttons are kind of clunky. They're good headphones, but the main reason why I don't like them anymore is just that, that sweat gets in there and these absolutely reek. They, they're gross. They make your face smell like your like leftover six months gym sweat. I bought maybe a, a carrying case from Amazon to think maybe it's because of my gym bag that they're getting gross, so I isolated them. That just isolates the stank and it makes it worse. I don't like these. And so if you guys are thinking about it and you maybe looked at the previous review, which was good initially, like I said, I really like these. This is the update review, the Skull Candy Crushers. I don't like them, I don't use them anymore. What I'd switch to is actually Bose, their little sound sport ones. And Bose is a huge, huge iconic name within uh, not only fitness headphones, but just general relaxing headphones as well. Skull candies are a little bit more, they're, they're getting popular. Their quality is getting better, which means their prices are getting better. Um, and these sound sport ones actually have it pulled up on Best Buy right here. They're 129 bucks. That's about the average price between Amazon. They're about 150. The Skull Candy ones, I believe, were 170. I think I got them for like 130 on sale. So the price is pretty much the same. Whereas those lasted about 14 hours, these last seven hours. And what I like about them, they're low profile. You can kind of throw them in your back pocket. They don't take up a huge thing. You don't gotta buy a secondary case for them. Um, and unlike a lot of the sort of over the shoulder kind of swoop ones, the last three hours, I mean, we're crazy. I'm crazy at least. I work out for like three and a half hours. So to have your headphones die at the end or to have forgotten to charge them and have them die 40 minutes in, that's really annoying. So the fact that these last, I've never killed them yet. So they last at least six hours, seven hours because I'll charge them on the way to the gym for 30 minutes and they'll be good. They're small, they're comfortable. For someone like me who has gigantic ears, the large little pieces, I call them nibs. I have no idea what the technical thing is. They fit really well in my ears. You're not gonna be able to do 
kipping pull-ups. You're not gonna be able to do crazy burpees with these. Um, not that you could really do that very effectively with those either, uh, but since they lack the over the ear sort of anchor system, they're not too crazy. I mean, you can put them in and you're gonna be able to shake, move, do decline, maybe do some like mildly crazy things, but kipping, backflip, burpee, push-up things, it's not gonna go well with these. They're probably gonna come off. My only gripe, and these are great headphones. I've, I've been a huge fan of these. I've had them for about a month and a half now. Um, the only thing I don't like is that this is sort of the classic headphone rubber material. Again, the technical ner like name eludes me. The only thing is, as you get sweaty, it kind of sticks to you. So if you're moving around and it gets stuck, it has a tendency to pull a headphone off. And obviously, since one comes off, it pulls the other one off as well. That's my only gripe, and that's not even that big a deal because those things get stuck to your face all the time. They don't absorb sweat, obviously, since it's these little, I'm just gonna say neoprene rubber, it's not right, but just this rubber thing right here, these don't get gross, you can wipe them off super easy. They're easily portable, and they connect with my Bluetooth really well. They don't have a huge, huge range. I'm gonna say probably about 10 to 15 feet in the gym. These were pretty good. You could leave your headphones um, in your bag, grab your phone, have your phone way over on the other side of the gym, and these would these would connect because they're gigantic compared to these. So for as small, portable, and long-lasting as these like little over-the-neck ones are, they have a, a decent range. If I don't want my phone to be 15 feet away from me in the gym all that much anyways. Uh, so that's not a huge deal. I normally just put, uh, stick it in my pocket or kind of stay around the weights wherever I'm looking. So if you guys are looking for new headphones out there, thinking about the Skull Candy ones, or you just watched or maybe watched the Skull Candy review from way long ago, I'm over it. I'm done with those headphones. Not to say Skull Candy's a bad brand. Those are a bad purchase. I don't think they're worth it. I'm trying out the Bose. If you guys know of headphones I should try, I mean, I, behind me is just dozens and dozens of random sets of headphones and earbuds because you kind of got to experiment to see what works for you. So if one does work for you guys and you think they'd work for me or maybe anyone in the Fitness 253 community, as always, leave questions, comments, and concerns in that comment section below. If I'm missing out on a really good pair of headphones, let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, these are the Bose Sound Sport, about 120 bucks on Amazon or Best Buy. I think these are solid, solid headphones over the stanky uh, Skull Candy Crushers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy.